There are three main centers of lace making in Croatia, all resting upon a long tradition. The town of Lepoglava in the region of Hrvatsko Zagorje, famous for its bobbin lace. The Adriatic island of Pag with its needle lace and the city of Hvar with its aloe lace. Pag is the main town of the island of Pag, situated in the northern part of the Adriatic. The needlepoint lace of Pag was originally applied on traditional folk costumes, at the front of the female white chemise and on the rim of the headgear. The production technique is characterized by the initial particular and strict geometrical patterns. The application of the Pag lace changed over time. It started as trimming on traditional female linen clothing and became later an element of interior decoration of bourgeois houses. Paška čipka vam se radi, evo to vam je početak te paške čipke. Najprvo se nabada karton i sad vam je to takozvano šinjivanje. The production of the Pag needle point lace requires a small, tightly stuffed semicircular pillow, a needle and white thread, as well as steady and immaculately clean hands. The pattern on which small holes trace the contours of the foundation is fastened to the pillow. A spider web is then drawn with the thread to produce the so-called reticulas with loose ends. Each radiating thread is worked with a needle and thread, which results in a firm skeleton. Around these threads, starting from the center, individual patterns are buttonhole stitched in concentric circles. Patterns always follow strict geometric forms prescribed by tradition. Small hollow or full circles, larger circles, triangles, leaves, roms, rosettes, zigzag lines edged by obligatory small circles, etc. In other words, the same ornament is found on the traditional cotton shirt of a folk costume and on a decorative doily made today. Lepoglava, a small town situated in the continental part of Croatia, on the gentle hills of the region of Hrvatsko Zagorje. It is believed that the bobbin lace scale was brought to the region of Lepoglava by the polished monks and the gentry. The lace making technique was taken over by village women skilled in weaving and embroidery and used in the production of traditional clothing. The original Lepoglava lace strip made of coarse linen thread and applied as trimmings for folk costumes later developed into fine lace of various shapes and designs used to decorate the interiors of bourgeois homes or as fashion accessories. These laces are typical for their floral ornaments taken from traditional textiles and wood carvings. Bobbin lace is made on a tube-shaped hard pillow resting in a wicker basket and small wooden sticks bobbins, around which thread is wound. The bobbins, always an even number of them, are interwoven to produce strips of varying width. They are fixed with pins onto the pillow producing the desired pattern. The simplest products are strips of varying widths with straight or winding motifs. By pulling the intertwining thread tighter or looser, the density of the thread is determined and the characteristic nuances of the patterns obtained, which is especially striking in floral patterns. Another interesting element is the varying form of the fillet foundation connecting the decorative motifs. The fillets may have bigger or smaller circular or elongated eyelets. Hvar, the main town of the island of Hvar, situated in central Dalmatia. The skill of making aloe lace is the youngest of all traditional lace making arts in Croatia. It is made only in the Benedictine convent of Hvar by applying a special production technique which includes the painstaking process of obtaining thread from the middle part of the leaves of aloe that grows on the island. The aloe lace is made without a predetermined pattern or design. There are several techniques to produce aloe lace. One of them is called mreškanje u kru, circular netting, where a small sewing needle and a special netting needle are used to produce a pattern of small elongated eyelids, worked in circles until the desired size of the doily is reached. Another technique is the so-called tenerifa, 
Tenerifa lace is worked on cardboard with an ordinary needle over a spider web of alloy threads to form various geometrical shapes without a predetermined pattern. Various techniques are often combined. Each of the laces is different and unique. The production of laces in the three localities described above is rooted in everyday life of the communities and makes them highly recognizable in the cultural mosaic of Croatia. Čupkarstvo na prostoru Hrvatske možemo pratiti unatrag nekoliko stoljeća, što znači da se javlja istovremeno kad i u ostalom dijelu Evrope. Izrada čipke u Evropi bila je uglavnom u rukama ženskih crkvenih redova, građanstva i plemstva. In Croatia it was passed on by them to peasant women. The technique and design characteristics of such lace work differ from the lace making simultaneously practiced in Europe. Lace making in Croatia retained its initial simplicity using relatively coarse materials such as a thicker thread and a limited number of patterns such as the original reticula and a dozen of geometrical motifs in the pog needlepoint lace or the holly stitch and floral ornaments in the lipoglava bobbin lace. The result of this type of work is all the more admirable because it invests every technique with countless variations producing unique creations of a high technical and artistic value. The alloy laces are also coupling the lace making technique with the skill of processing alloy leaves into fine thread. Lace making in Pag, Lepoglava and Hvar are a unique testimony of a living cultural tradition. The girls of Pag grew up watching their mothers and grandmothers making lace and learned their first stitches from them. The next encounter with lace was the wearing of the folk costume, which was worn daily in the past but is now worn only on festive occasions. Lace used to be and still is an integral part of church vestments. In Lepoglava, every newborn girl would be given a bobbin so that she may become a skillful lace maker. The sound produced by the wooden bobbins of the mother or grandmother making lace was often the baby girl's lullaby. First instructions were received in the parental house, followed by school tuition and lace work courses. Here too, lace was a votive gift and the ornament of church vestments. In the specific environment of the convent life, the Benedictine Order of Huar had an additional task for its novices, to learn how to make aloe lace. When transferred to another convent, the Huar nuns often took a piece of lace as a souvenir, but they were never motivated to make another piece of lace in the new environment. The current situation of lace making in Croatia is the result of certain events in the past. Industrijska proizvodnja tekstila već krajem 19. stoljeća potiskuje ručni rad. U potrazi za poslom, migracije muškog dijela stanovništva ruralnih krajeva javljaju se već početkom 20. stoljeća i ostavljaju ženama manje vremena za bavljenje rukotvorstvom. This has been compounded by the absence of adequate sales channels and the meager renumeration of lace makers, aggravated by high tax rates. In recent decades, lace has also been suppressed by cheap industrial decorative textiles imported from other countries. All these developments have led to the total disappearance of lace making in most Croatian regions. The advanced age of active lace makers is the biggest problem and the main threat to the tradition of lace work. Lace production in the Benedictine convent in Hvar is limited by the small number of the convent's members. Young generations find little motivation to engage in lace making except for their pleasure of it, especially because they see no possibilities to sell the lace work at reasonable prices. With the purpose of preserving, protecting and reviving lace work in Croatia, the following long-term objectives have been set. To continue the expert and scientific research and evaluation of lace making, coupled with the organization of exhibitions and presentations to organize teacher trainings and courses or school programs in Pag and Lepoglava. To introduce lace making as a school subject from primary to tertiary education. To establish a lace work museum. To organize the collection of historical documents about lace making and exhibits for the purpose of the lace work museum. To secure appropriate premises for lace making workshops to be held by local lace workers and for lace working presentations to organize international lacework conferences, exhibitions and festivals, to encourage an organized and coordinated production and sale of lace as souvenirs in the lace production centers, to organize lace making trainings as a therapy in health resorts or nursing homes. 
The required funding will be provided by the following sources. The state budget through the Ministry of Culture, local self-governed budgets of Pag, Khoad and Lepoglava, the funding of the Croatian Tourist Board, project implementation grants and revenues from the sale of lace.